Number 10. Blue moons on Halloween are rare. Blue moons are rare enough as it is, so to fall on Halloween is a unique occurrence, happening every 18 to 19 years. The last blue moon on Halloween was in 2020. A blue moon is the second full moon to occur in the same month. October's first moon is called a harvester's moon. And if there is a second, it's called the hunter's moon. The next blue moon on Halloween is in 2039. Number 9. Charlie Brown was the first TV character to trick or treat. In 1966, an episode of the famous cartoon Charlie Brown had the characters go trick or treating. This was the first time the concept of trick or treating was seen on a television program. The cartoon became the face of trick or treating, and everyone wanted to be like Charlie and his friends. piece of candy for my stupid brother. He couldn't come with us because he's sitting in a pumpkin patch waiting for the great pumpkin. It's so embarrassing to have to ask for something extra for that blockhead Linus. I got five pieces of candy. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I got a rock. candy bar. Boy, I got three cookies. Hey, I got a package of gum. I got a rock. Trick or treat. I got a popcorn ball. I got a fetch ball. I got a pack of gum. I got a rock. Number eight. In Germany, it is a tradition for households to hide their knives on Halloween. A tradition in Germany is that on Halloween, you must hide all your knives. Like many other cultures, Germany believes that Halloween is the time of year when the veil between worlds is thin enough for spirits to pass. So to make sure the souls of their visiting relatives don't get hurt, they hide all their knives in the house. This is to ensure there are no accidents and their dead relatives don't get hurt. Can you imagine having Casper take you out with a knife? Number seven. Mexico calls Halloween Dia de los Muertos. In Mexico on October 31st, people dress up as sugar skulls, and their traditions are a blend of indigenous Aztec rituals and traditions of Spanish colonizers. Dia de los Muertos means Day of the Dead, and although it is celebrated on the same day as Halloween, it has its own set of rules and traditions. Celebrations consist of making offerings to deceased loved ones, creating floor decorations, and shrines in the home and at the burial sites of lost family members. In more recent years, the cultural blend between Halloween and Dia de los Muertos has spread globally, with the sugar skull or candy skull becoming a Halloween symbol. We are on our way to number six, but before we get there, don't forget to click that subscribe button, then like our video and share it with your friends. It helps the channel out and lets us know you like us. Thanks for watching. Number six. In Cambodia, beans are given to the dead on Halloween. Halloween is still a fairly new holiday in Cambodia, but over the course of September and October, Cambodia has had traditions with similarities to Halloween. In Cambodia, it is believed that the gates to hell open up around October time, and souls can walk the earth. A traditional offering was to get beans wrapped in banana leaves to lost loved ones on Halloween as a peace offering. Number five. Illusion artist Harry Houdini died on Halloween. The famous illusionist and magician Harry Houdini died on Halloween 1926. Houdini agreed with his wife that if he were to die and found a way to communicate with her, then she should use the password Rossible Believe. After his death, his wife, Bess Houdini, held yearly seances on Halloween for 10 years after his death in an attempt to communicate with him. She even kept a candle continuously burning since his death but she blew it out after no response on the 10th attempt. Although his wife gave up, his fellow magicians and fans didn't. An annual seance is held on Halloween for Houdini, and the tradition has been passed down as part of the Society of American Magicians. 
disembodied spirits, those of you that have grown old in the mysterious laws of spirit land, we greet thee. We have gathered here at the appointed time. We have complied with all the requirements to enable all of you to make your presence known. Members of the spirit world have long known of the intention of this important gathering tonight. All is in readiness. Please now. The time is at hand. Make yourself known to us. Any of you, please, manifest yourself in any way possible. Please let your united strength and knowledge aid Houdini in coming through. It is the spirit of Houdini we wish to contact. Houdini, are you here? Are you here, Houdini? Please manifest yourself in any way possible. Take from this earnest gathering any strength that may be necessary for you to use. Take any vital thing from us that you may need to enable you to carry out your promise of years ago. We have waited, Udini, oh so long. Never have you been able to present the evidence you promised. And now, this is the night of night. The world is listening. Harry, your world, your audience. And Bessie is here, your Bessie, who was part of you for 33 years. She's here, Harry, pleading in her heart for a prearranged sign from you. Number four. There is a reason why black and orange are the colors of Halloween. You may be wondering why orange and black the two most prominent colors at Halloween are. Orange is one of the main colors as it represents fall, which is the season Halloween falls, and pumpkins, which are a popularly harvested crop at that time of year. Black is the other color associated as it symbolizes death and darkness as summer comes to an end. Number three. The largest haunted house takes nearly an hour to walk through. In 2015, Guinness World Records named Cutting Edge Haunted House the world's largest walkthrough haunted house. Cutting Edge is a haunted house built inside an abandoned meat packing factory in Fort Worth, Texas. The total length of the walkthrough house is 2,261 feet, 689 meters, and it will take around 50 minutes to walk through. Number two. New York's Village Halloween Parade is the biggest in the U.S. The Village Parade of Greenwich Village, Lower Manhattan, was initiated in 1973. On average, the parade attracts around 2 million spectators and consists of an average of 50,000 people taking part. The parade is quite spontaneous, and anyone can join the march at any point without getting a ticket. Although this is the largest parade in the world, it is not considered the largest gathering for Halloween. Number one. It is illegal to dress as a nun or priest in Alabama. There aren't many laws around Halloween that influence your outfit choice. In Alabama, it is a criminal offense if you dress as a priest or nun. That includes any member of the clergy of any religion. If you are caught dressed as one, you could face a fine or even be arrested. The law in Alabama states, whoever being in a public place fraudulently pretends by garb or outward array to be a minister of any religion or nun, priest, rabbi or other members of the clergy is guilty of a misdemeanor and upon conviction shall be punished by a fine not exceeding $500 or confinement in the county jail for not more than one year or by both fine and imprisonment. <laughs> 